At one point, you had some heat with Steve Carino. I think you guys, it's, o it's over now, but now he has a position in WWE. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Steve was a guy that I thought was a really good guy, a uh, nice guy in the dojo when I met him, and maybe I was uh, like a wild card and uh, arrogant kid at that time, and I didn't know the opportunity that I had, or I wasted my, my opportunity, and that was something he said, but he called me a goof in an interview uh, that he did, and that, that word means something in Canada, maybe different than it does in the States, but it's, uh, it's a really bad thing to call somebody, and I challenged... Uh, Steve to go outside and talk to me and if you're gonna say that in an interview say it to my face and uh, he didn't didn't want to go outside and talk to me and I think he was uh, probably you know just talking like that at the time because he didn't uh, he didn't realize what it meant and he wasn't trying to say that I was I mean like it's, it's just it's like wording I was in a clubhouse when it was said and there was a bunch of bikers and the word goof means like child molester fucking f pedophile type faggot like it's a bad bad where I think he meant I was a goofy kid more of like that I was silly and stupid I didn't know what I was doing and that so when I talked to him in person I think uh, his understanding of what that meant and my understanding of what that meant were two different things so I kind of let him off the hook and I hoped that he was going to be a guy that down the road we worked together we did a show together and I put him over in a match we did a fucking screwy finish and made it look like it was a shoot and we never hurt each other he was professional with me as professional with him and then he might not like me outside the ring but once we get in the ring we got a job to do and that's take care of each other and that's the number one rule and he followed that rule so my respect for Steve Carino was high and I guess his son's a big fan of mine I heard his son's a big fan of mine I heard his son's a pretty cool kid and I know guys that are training with him so I I hope Steve uh, takes care of his son and gets his son into a position to to carry on the last name the Carino last name and that Steve uh, in the WWE is fair and he's uh, helpful and does his job and gets guys experience he's got a lot of experience and a lot of good ideas and um, I think as a wrestler he was pretty good for what he was he was I think he was better than I gave him credit for before so I'll take my hat off to Steve Carino now and say like I've heard a lot more things from Steve Carino that were positive and whenever I met him in the future he was always nice to me he took took lots of time out to talk to me and never tried and never superstarred me same with CM Punk. The few times I saw CM Punk on the street, he never superstarred me. He was nice to me and talked to me and took me out and got me in the back. And like, so my hat's off to them. Even though I was mad at them at the time, in the future when I saw him again, they were always really cool. Like Batista was so super, super nice to me. Always really cool. Always never superstarred me. Jericho never superstarred me. Like where some guy like Keith Lee, I see him and like I talk to him and he seemed to have like some kind of attitude. Like he was almost too busy to talk to me or he didn't want to say hi or he was walking around with. A title like a title from Gabe Sapolsky show of like I forget what promotion it was maybe it was uh, what's the evolve is that what it's called evolve title around his waist walking around like his shit didn't stink and I was like man I said if some of the guys I met in wrestling Kevin Nash and Batista and Hogan and like fucking Jericho or all have five minutes to talk and they're all really cool like Shawn Michaels but Keith Lee a guy that's like a kind of a, a big deal for indie wrestling this year last year his name kind of popped on the scenes is looking like he's too busy to talk to me I said respect your fucking elders and your vets man I've been around a long time and Steve Carino was a guy that was always I guess uh, whenever I needed to talk to him was there and he always was nice to me so I can't really say anything bad about him now